Hi YouTube, I'm back today with something absolutely not tea related whatsoever. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a video on my ball jointed doll collection. Um, usually they're sitting on my desk, but my desk, well, I mean my entire room is really not video ready, clean, cleanliness wise, but my desk is just full of all sorts of stuff and I found this nice little tree table to set all my girls on, so we're gonna do it that way. So anyway, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ball jointed dolls in one sort of ball jointed doll, which I guess I'll do her first. Um, so this is um, my not ball jointed doll. I'm really not sure what I would classify her as, but she's a Lila doll. They're made by Soom Korea, um, and she's a Lila doll. The actual title of the doll is Very Catty Day. Um, I'm actually not sure if they make these anymore. Their website hasn't been updated since like 2013. <laughs> um, she doesn't have a name or anything, but I liked her because she was a cat, and as you guys know, I like cats. <laughs> um, she comes on a stand because she can't stand very well. She's sort of like a Blythe doll, but not. Um, she's got a whole bunch of different hands, as you can tell. Well, she's got two different hands on right now. You can uh, move her eyes around, which is the funniest thing. Um, but yeah, so she's my one of my not ball jointed doll dolls. But she's, I mean, she's got ball joints, but she's not like a resin doll, I guess. So that is her. Yeah, excuse me. All right. And now on to my resin collection. We're going to go from my oldest doll to my newest doll. So my oldest doll, the first doll that I ever got, was my Lutz Zuzu Delf Percy. I got her at the beginning of 2013, and she is my only anthro and probably my, one of my favorites. Um, she's super adorable. She's got the factory face up. Um... Don't ask me where her wig and her outfit came from. They came in a trade that I had for another doll, and they just fit her better than they fit the other doll. And her name is Sersha. And, yeah, so she was my first doll. I love her to bits. She's super cute. She's got the cutest little shoes. And I highly suggest Lutz dolls in general as a good first doll, because they're very sturdy dolls. They hold up well. Um... I have dropped her a few times, as you can tell by the makeup chipping off of her ear. Or maybe not, because the lighting is terrible. But I've dropped her a couple times and she's absolutely fine. So so that is my Zuzu girl. And I'm going to be putting these dolls back where they belong as we go along. So The next doll I got was also a Lutz doll. I got her also in 2013. She was limited edition. She's the Lutz Kid Dove Lolly. I got her with the Moonlit Song set. Um, she's not wearing that set right now because it's a pain in the butt to put on and take off and put on and take off, etc, etc, etc. However, this is the wig she came with, which is taller than she is. She's a kid doll. She's 42 centimeters. And her name is Raleigh. And yeah, she's really cute. <laughs> but she's holding a teddy bear because I don't know why. It's adorable. So this, oops, this is my kid Delph Lolly. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't really know what to say. So I'm going to put her back. She's really, really loose. She needs to be restrung, as you can tell. But hopefully our doll group in the area will be having a dolly care day soon. And then we can do that. All right. So at this point, I went through a very long dolly hiatus. I didn't get another doll until February of 2015, and this was also my first SD-sized girl. Um, so this is my Peakswood Tristan. Her name is Ariana, and I got her with my tax return last year <laughs> off of the DOA marketplace. She's a Peakswood Tristan on the Absolute Beauty body. Um, so she's got big boobs, she's got legs for days, and she's just 
gorgeous. I love her so much. I love Peakswood as a company. Um, and she was my very first SD size girl that I kept. I did have one SD girl and I sold her because I wasn't very happy with her. Um, but she's double jointed. Her knees are a little weird, but whatever. So yeah, this is my Tristan. Her name is Ariana, as I said. And she is 60, 62 centimeters with her heeled feet on. So she's a pretty big girl. Alright. The next doll I got was my next Peakswood girl, who was also a Grail doll of mine. I got really lucky, and I ended up ordering her before they put the uh, their big girls out of sale. They're focusing more on quality of product versus quantity of products, so they're only putting out their SD size girls during special events. Um, but I had been lusting over this doll for like two years. I am super excited. I was so excited to finally get her um, because, like I said, she was a grail doll of mine, and I adore her. I love her so much. She's still my favorite, and that is my Peakswood Wake Up Goldie. Um, their um, Lolita body is amazing. It's so cute. It's got gorgeous, gorgeous hands. And she's such a beautiful doll. I love her so much. She looks like such a bitch, and I love it. Um, she's gone through quite a few outfits and wigs, and I finally settled on this outfit from Doll Heart. Um, it's got the jacket, the sweater, the shirt. The pants are not Doll Heart, but the shoes are. This uh, outfit actually came with a pair of shorts, but since it's wintertime, I didn't want her in shorts. <laughs> but yeah, she's a wake-up Goldie. Um, normal skin, factory face-up. And she is still, like, my favorite doll that I've ever had. And I just love her so much. I will never, ever, 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 ever sell her. So. So that's my Wake Up Goldie. The next doll I got in the timeline scale was another Lutz doll. Um, I don't know if any of you keep up with Lutz. But they put out some limited edition, we call them Tiny Tars. They are the Tiny Delph with a Centaur body. And I missed out... Oh, I'm so sorry. I missed out on the first wave of these Tiny Tours, and I had to get in on the second one. So this is... Um, my Tiny Tour from Lutz. Her name is Scarlet. And... Oh, I forgot to mention, my, uh... The Peaksful Girl I just showed you, the Wake Up Goldie, her name is Pilar. So this is Scarlet. She's a tiny Delph centaur from Lutz. And oh my god, isn't she the cutest thing you have ever seen. Her sculpt is Alice. And I don't really like elf ears at all, but I am so smitten by her little face that I just got over it really quick. They have the cutest, like, everything. They're so easy to pose because they're so small. She's just the cutest thing. And this is her body. Um, yeah, so lots of range of motion on the torso, her legs. Do any pretty much anything you want them to do. And I highly recommend getting a tiny tour next time they put them out. Sometimes they have zebra towers, but I don't really like zebras, so I don't care. And the tail is magnetic, which is super cool. But yeah, so this is Scarlet, and she's just adorable and she goes right here okay so the next doll I got was actually on Halloween of 2015 I did post a box opening video for this doll um, and she's my my last Peakswood girl and her name is Hallie she is a Peakswood Rogita on the Lolita body and she's in the tan skin with a special face up got her during the farewell event and as you can see, she's like super striking and gorgeous. And her name is Hallie, and she's my other, my last, one of three Peakswood girls. And she's just, <clears throat> the tan skin tone that they put out was just absolutely beautiful. Like, it's such, it's a very soft tan, like, oh, I've spent three weeks at the beach, but I'm not completely, you know, roasted tan. I don't really know how to explain it. But yeah, so this is Hallie. 
she's on the Lolita body, which is 58 centimeters. Um, and she's got the special face up, so she's got freckles, she's got upper and lower eyelashes, which a lot of dolls don't have lower lashes. And she's wearing an Angel Studio outfit. Um, and some random shoes I got off of eBay, which are adorable. So this is Hallie. Uh oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. I moved my camera. Alright, and then the last doll that I got, I got her in the beginning of January. And she is from a relatively new Chinese company. They're only about two years old. Um, they're named Mascat. And this is a Mascat Yale in their 2015 tan. And I love her because she looks absolutely disgruntled with the world. And I think that's <laughs> the cutest thing. She was adorable. I fell in love with her um, the minute I saw her, which is why I had to get her. Um, she's in their 2015 tan, which is much different from the 2014 tan. Their 2014 tan was more of a orange versus a tan. But... I love her because she looks just so grumpy and tired and fed up with everything. Um, and her name is Vivian, but we just call her Vivi for short because I don't feel like saying Vivian. Um, she's on their only body, which is the 58 centimeter standard body. Um, like I said, it's a relatively new company. Um, there has only been one iteration of the body and one update. so. It's not perfect. She likes to fall over because um, her torso joint is very loose. No matter how tight I will string her, she'll just go. Poof. But and her ankle joints are a little weird, as you can tell. They just like to roll. But aren't those shoes cute? <laughs> and her legs are double jointed, but yeah. But she's also like my one of my favorites. I love her, like I said, because she just looks so grumpy with everything. So, and her name, like I said, is Vivi. So anyway, that is my doll collection as of today. I have no plans for more dolls in the future because I'm still trying to pay her off. Because um, I put her on layaway. Now, speaking of layaway, I do all of my shopping because I live in the Washington, D.C. area. Um, there's a doll shop here called Fabric Friends and Dolls. And the owner is Iris, and she's amazing. And she will work with anybody on any kind of layaway plan. Um... So, yeah, so if you're interested, in, if you live in the United States, she doesn't do overseas, I don't think. Um, but she has quite a few exclusive contracts with doll companies. And she's kind of like, um, oh no, what's the one out in the Midwest? Denver Doll? Same thing, just a little bit smaller and on the East Coast. And if you're interested in a doll, shoot her an email um, or go to her website she, she's willing to work out layaway plans with you it's she's phenomenal and I love her so much um, it's fabric friends fabric friends dolls .com. but anyway thank you guys for watching I appreciate it um, I yes I know this is not tea related but I said I was gonna post this video so y'all have plenty of notice <laughs> um, and I will talk to you guys later bye